Clacton, Essex. Left behind, faded seaside resort. Or home to Britain's next political revolution. 70% of Clacton's residents voted to leave the EU in 2016. Eight years on, with frustration at the Conservative government mounting, they look set to elect Brexit's architect, Nigel Farage, to Parliament for the first time. Election fever may not be invigorating Britain as a whole, but this constituency is different. Crowds of hundreds have appeared to hear from Mr Farage. Behind this excitement lies anxiety, fear and division amongst the town's residents. Polls are unclear as to who may scoop up this seat. Clacton's residents will decide whether Nigel Farage can turn his personal popularity into a political force or whether his hopes will be dashed after eight attempts at being elected. GB News has come to Clacton to find out. I'm just going to get some flyers, some signs, just to go out and promote the, promote the uh, high. Have you ever canvassed for a party or got involved in campaigning for anyone else before? No, this is the first time and I only recently moved to Clacton a couple of years ago and just to see a place where I'm living being fully presented on the news, it, it just seems it seems to make me want to be more engaged and I go on social media and even though there's people saying oh, if Nigel gets promote or gets elected he's not going to do anything for the area but those people don't understand that Nigel has nearly 2 million followers on X 1.1 million followers on Facebook he does all his interviews on Clacton and, and just mentioning Clacton is advertising is advertising it, he can at least increase the tourism industry that Clacton thrives on. We have two caravan parks. We have a lot of tourist section, section just on the high street. If, if him just sending out a tweet can boost that in uh, tourism sector, that's better than no, no name party member that could do it for Labour. Uh, I'm supporting reform because I actually like their policies. Um, the, the major one for me is the increasing the income tax to £20,000 because it makes more sense in today's environment because of inflation. Things have gone up over 20% over the last two years and just to increase the income tax kind of reflects that and it helps the poorer people. So for somebody like me who's a single working man trying to pay for a mortgage and all that, if you increase the income tax up to £20,000 that will help cover my mortgage which will help cover the inevitable interest rise in mortgages so that single policy alone is enough for me to pick reform you, you, you can decide better for yourself with your own money than you can if you get given any type of sort of benefit do you think that the support in Clacton is much higher than people think it's going to be I think it is I think it is I can't it's, I can't say why I think maybe there's a little bit of whiff in the air where people don't want to say they want to support reform because of because of like opinionated backlash where people say you're racist or anything like that so people might want to support it but they don't want to be open about it. Chief among those were Ben's girlfriend who also admitted to supporting reform privately but said she feared declaring support openly. This became a common thread among reform supporters in Clacton. But that doesn't mean everyone in town intended to vote for Mr Farage. How had Reform UK's contract with the people gone down? The proposal to change the way the NHS works into an insurance model or to increase the personal allowance to £20,000. How had these proposals gone down with voters? Oh, and this guy, who can afford it? Who can afford private health? You can't even afford to rent, you know? And he's on about doing away with national health. Yeah. Silly man, you know? But there's a lot of right-wing fascists living in Clacton. They're just all they're worrying about immigration. They can't see the big picture, you know? That's another divide, Mr. Barrage. Divides the country. He's poison, mate. He's absolute poison. Mate. No good for this country. I had to email reform because they were sending me all the pictures of Farage and I've asked them not to send them because I just can't stand even seeing him, let alone listen to him. He's very clever and he knows what to say yeah. and to and what to say to the people. But really, he's just a slow to ball, really. While there are some strong opinions like these about Mr Farage, his popularity is undeniable. One poll that morning said the Reform UK leader would win the seat and some Clacton residents were unsurprised. Yes, I think Clacton will vote him in. It, uh, if, it, if it doesn't, it, 
I, I, I won't understand it, but uh, it will definitely followed by Labour two and Conservatives three, and the outsiders four. You know, so it's, yeah, he will get in here without shadow of a doubt. I think he knows it. He's got the bit between his teeth, and it's going to be a shock to what the Labour Party and the Conservatives. But the Conservatives have brought it on themselves. Why do you think that is? What, what do you think that the basis is for Farage's support? Well, he's a very clever man, very sophisticated man. He's spent a lot of time on the European Parliament and he knows which way the, the ball rolls. And he's touching raw nerves here. He's, 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 he's a superhero, you know. He's speaking how the, the people, what they're thinking, ordinary people. My big issue is unfortunately again is immigration it's got to be stopped and i'm not one of these die hard you know crazy people who want to do horrible things but they've got to get a grip of it because if they don't i think it could explode big time let's jump to giles i have not seen him on the campaign trail he is elusive Mm -hmm. He's never been into class. Maybe he goes to Frinton, where he's from, but he has certainly doesn't. He, I've never seen him once on the streets here talking to people, ordinary people. It's like, I've got the job, I don't care about what happens next. And uh, that goes down badly. The Labour people and the Liberal Dermot, the Libs, have been out on the streets like Farage's reform, and they've made a positive effort to get people to vote for them. Giles is pathetic and he's like, in my opinion, sooner he's out of his league he's, and he let us, I'm a veteran, he's let the veterans down, walked away. I mean, that doesn't go down well with the forces. People, that was the 1940 people, gave their lives on the beaches. And how could he do that? Another issue which has been important in the national election is that of the war between Israel and Hamas. Roy is the Jewish son of immigrants who runs a salt beef shop in Clacton. Well, it's everywhere. You can't get away from it, can you? Um, it worries me. Yeah, it worries me. Probably more than it should do, but it does worry me. What worries you? The, the, it worries me the way people are going to vote. Are they going to vote with their head? Or are they going to vote with their heart? For me, it's a difficult one because I've always been Labour. But I can't, in good conscience, vote for Labour because they're systemically anti-Semitic. Um, they've got a big problem in Labour with anti-Semitism. And I remember voting for Diane Abbott on her first election when she first came about and I voted for in Hackney, this is what we need. Obviously not. You know, um, Tory. I'm not a Tory. I wasn't brought up a Tory, you know, but... And then you UK reform. So what choice have we got? You know, for me, any vote that's not for UK reform is a vote for me. Because I think that that would be a, a bad situation to be in, really. What if um, Nigel Farage was elected here, you think that would be a bad situation? Yeah, absolutely. He's an extremist. You know, I don't feel that he's... I feel that he, the, the win for him would be for him, not for the people, it would be for him. Um, I think he's saying all the right things people want to hear. They want to hear about him stopping mass migration, this, that and the other. Um, but I don't think people are really thinking into what it will actually mean by having this sort of a, a parliament or government in. I mean, without migration, where would the NHS be? As a business owner, have you seen anything in any of the manifestos that has made you think that it would benefit your business at all? No, there's never anything that's going to benefit small business. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's so hard for a small business to survive in a small, like a seaside town. There's low, low employment, high crime, you know, and hospitality get always get hit. You know, it's the choice of whether you're gonna pay your bills, go shopping, not go out for a sandwich in a cafe, you know you're gonna lose. So opinion is divided in Clacton, though most on the street say they will vote for Mr Farage, but only a minority of those were willing to say publicly that they were going to do so. With Mr Farage's late arrival to the campaign, the polls have been unclear as to who will win here. The local MP seeking re-election is Giles Watling, and he believes frustrated voters who have flirted with reform will come back to him. Everywhere I go, uh, I'm getting a really positive response. I mean, really positive response. Uh, and interestingly, since um, Nigel Farage tried to join, has decided to join the race here, uh, people are 
literally um, yesterday I had a lady take down her Nigel Farage poster and put up one of mine. Um, people are moving um, back into the fold as to You know, there might have been an initial fl flirtation with other parties, but uh, um, people are now beginning to see that I'm the local guy. You know, I've served this community for seven years and, and they know me and I'm always around and so forth. And suddenly having a circus arriving hasn't enthralled a lot of people. Voters around the country will have their eye firmly on Clacton the morning of July 5th to see whether Nigel Farage's populist revolt has achieved new heights. Reform UK and Labour's local teams were contacted for comment but had not immediately responded before publication. This week a shock poll showed Reform UK's level of support had reached 24%, with Labour ahead at 35% and the Conservatives on 15%. But as the politicians always say, the only poll that matters is the one on July 4th. Nicholas Dunning, GB News.